It's a problem we don't often hear about here in New Mexico, a lake being too full. But that is exactly what's happening at one popular recreation spot. News 13's Marilyn Upchurch has a look at what's behind it and the dangers officials are keeping an eye on. Jordan and his son Sid say they are having a blast at Abiquiu Lake. If you're going to come to Abiquiu, now's the time to be here. Because of snow melt and early rains, the lake is seeing water levels up 30 feet higher than what they've seen in recent years. We're considered full at 6220 elevation feet or 180,000 acre feet roughly. And today we're at uh, 6228.14 elevation feet and 220,000 acre feet. All that water means areas where visitors would normally enter the water and recreate looks different. You can see that at the main boat ramp where boaters are loading into the water using the roadway rather than the usual concrete ramp. Some of our shelters are, are underwater right now uh, in our main, in our Cerrito Recreation Area. So um, we have one area that's actually closed to vehicle access just because there's not much room for vehicles to get down there. One of the pedestrian bridges is also underwater. While many New Mexicans are thrilled to see all that water, John Mueller with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers worries about the impacts on infrastructure. I think the biggest thing is the water level recedes. You know, our staff here at ABIQ Dam are going to evaluate our infrastructure, uh, roadway. We have some gravel road roadways that are going to be impacted to that. We're going to have to do increased maintenance. Waterways across New Mexico have seen high levels this year, but the water is especially abundant at Abiquiu Lake right now, partly because water has been held there to prevent Cochiti Lake from overflowing. On top of that, Abiquiu is also taking on extra water while crews finish construction on a nearby dam. The good news, Mueller says the high water has brought more visitors. You're never going to see it this high again, probably for many years. So we're living in special times. Marilyn Upchurch, KRQE News 13. Mueller says come fall, the lake will drop 10 to 15 feet. The current water levels are expected to stay this high all summer.